Hello brothers and sisters, uh, this is Ray Main here again. Uh, I had wanted to make a video uh, speaking on this coronavirus pandemic and as I was sitting here meditating this chapter kept coming before me so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be led of God uh, so I'm going to uh, speak a little bit on this 20th chapter of Matthew and maybe tomorrow I can be turned loose to talk about the coronavirus just a little bit. But anyway, uh, this is uh, 20th chapter of Matthew, and I want to read the first, I believe, 16, 17 verses. Let's just go ahead and start. It says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. He went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? And they say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. A penny. And when they received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, they, These last have wrought but one hour, and has made, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them, saying, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. Uh, so it's 1 through 16 uh, verse. Now, what is this? Well, this is a, a, a parable that's in the middle of a bunch of parables. Jesus is trying to uh, teach his disciples how they should act and how they should walk among men. This reminded me of a, a uh, story. I had a pastor friend of mine that lived in another state. Um, uh, some that uh, may see this video will know who I'm talking about if I call his name, so I, I won't do that. But he's about like uh, my church here. Uh, he had... Uh, um, several folks that were older shall we call it that more experienced folks ever how you want to the politically correct way to say that is nowadays uh, but uh, he had several seasoned parishioners I guess you could say and they were pretty well stuck uh, with the way things had always been the way they'd always done it but my friend my pastor friend he had a heart to uh, for the children of the city that he was in and and he got to visiting with some street kids long story short some of the kids came and just a couple three weeks uh, he had almost 50 kids uh, just flat off the streets uh, that had came into his church uh, his him and his niece uh, took them uh, some of them didn't didn't even know how to bathe the girls young teenage girls they didn't they didn't know anything about uh, being clean or whatever had to be taught and uh, he took them in and as as you might imagine the the kids coming off the street that didn't really know how to act in church all they knew is that someone was giving them the time of day someone was uh, exhibiting Christian love to them and uh, they were so happy they didn't know hardly how to uh, uh, deal with it uh, over a period of time, I believe, I may ha disremember this right, but uh, I believe that out of those uh, 45 or 50, uh, over 40 of them uh, got saved, uh, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues in that church. 
in the meantime, the old folks, uh, they uh, they kind of got ill about that. What do you mean bringing those kids in here? You know, this isn't the way we've always done it and all like this. So what's my purpose of, of telling you this story? With all of this that's going on, I will get back to the coronavirus just a little bit. With all of this that's going on, I don't believe that, that God sent this virus necessarily. But there, he is using it in such a way as to get people to at least ask the question, is this the end time? Uh, people all over this world are in trouble. Uh, this is in every country in the world now. People are dying of it. Uh, there's other things that's worse than this, but the, this is so easily transmitted that it's affecting everybody just about. I mean, our church, after all, it's on, um, well, I thought they had locked us down. Uh, found out today that they hadn't necessarily locked down the, the church, but uh, I think that it's going to eventually get to that before this is all over with. Long story short. What is the penny that's talked about here in this parable? Uh, the penny is representing eternal life. That's the price of each and every one of our labor. It's, uh, uh, that's what we're here for. That's what we're serving God for. It's, it's not, uh, uh, you know, he, he has promised us eternal life if we'll love him and do his will. Uh, and we've got to be careful with everything that's going on right now, and that's the whole idea of this video, is to uh, be careful about your attitude, uh, especially in this time. Uh, be careful about your attitude towards others. Uh, we're commanded as God's children to love. Uh, I'm not going to say love everybody because there's a lot of them unlovable. You know, a lot of people say that that Jesus loves everybody. I I don't believe that. In the and in the, in the, here's the reason why. In the ninth chapter of uh, Romans, there's a passage that said that He'll have mercy on whom He'll have mercy. He'll have compassion on whom He'll have compassion. And on some He hardens. So that you know, I'm not trying to say that I'm I'm uh, one of the good guys altogether. It remains to be seen if I endure to the end. The same shall be saved. Scripture says. But let me just uh, entreat you to uh, not be so quick to throw everybody away. Uh, just because some people may come in that, that uh, uh, you don't appreciate, some people may come in that uh, uh, do things a little different than what uh, you're used to, uh, but uh, there's a requirement. Are they a child of God? If they're a child of God, we better treat them right. And we better be the right kind of example. And with that, I'm going to end this video. Uh, as always, uh, you know, if you haven't already liked this page, I'd appreciate it if you did. And uh, go ahead and share it with uh, uh, your connections, especially if you're in the northwest Arkansas area. I don't think I've got a lot of uh, friends uh, on my Facebook that's in the northwest Arkansas area, but uh, so that they'd have a when all this is over, they'd have a chance to come to church, okay? Anyhow, uh, wishing you many blessings. Stay safe, wash your hands, and uh, stay away from people. That's what they are uh, advocating right now. Uh, we don't want anybody any more than just has to to catch this deadly disease. All right? God bless you. We'll see you next time.